so I am running Windows 10 as you can see I am running Windows 10 version 21 H2 in this video I am going to show how I watch anime through the terminal so I have created a folder here I call it anime I open the terminal here uh, that is the git bash now uh, so uh, to watch an anime I write anycly I set the quality to uh, say 360p so 360 and then enter now it asks me to uh, search for the anime so let's say demon slayer kimetsu no yaiba if number one enter number choose one to twenty six let's say episode two Uh, my internet is kind of slow so it takes some time but uh, if you have a Wi-Fi connection it will be very fast すみませんが、あそこの籠とおわらに竹尾少々いただけますか? <laughs> As you can see the anime has started, uh, even I can skip to some part and I mean it will take uh, a little time to resume since it is streaming directly and my internet is not that fast but it will start, uh, it will uh, resume. As you can see so it resumed and to close it I open the bash and I press ctrl C so I can exit now to exit I press Q uh, also uh, say I was uh, watching an anime yesterday uh, uh, it was code gears and I don't know which episode I was watching so Anikli lets me resume to that episode let me show you how it is. So I type anycly. Um, I'll set the quality to 360 since I don't have on Wi Fi. I'll press H so as to resume. As you can see, Jujutsu Kaisen Black Clover Boku no Hero Academia. Here, number 5, Code Chaos, Leilao Chapter 8, Alien. So uh, I had finished episode 6 yesterday, now I am watching episode 7. As I said the internet is uh, a little slow but it gets the work done. Uh, to talk about the technicalities, uh, Anikli, Anikli scrapes off the website uh, Google Anime. So essentially, Anikli retrieves all the videos and the links from uh, Gogo Anime. I mean, as long as Gogo Anime is alive, <laughs> is live, uh, Anikli will work. And I do not need to open a browser or fill my RAM for that matter. I can exit it. Uh, I made this anime folder so as to download animes in this folder but the problem is that uh, Anikli at this moment uh, does not support downloading for Windows. In Linux it's working fine. So this was it for the video. Thank you.